Guys, what is up? Editing Brian here in the future. Basically, the audio on the first couple of clips sounded horrible, so I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that. We're going to go through my toolbox. If you don't know, I do help run a family business, which is in the multifamily industry. We do apartment painting, apartment maintenance, drywall repairs, things like that, and we just specialize in apartment complexes, rental properties, and most of my guys have a box similar to this with the basic things that they need so I'm gonna go through every tool and why I have it in there and just a quick overview if you like the video guys please hit that like and if you do want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos from me hit that subscribe guys I really appreciate it and it's free to you it just lets YouTube know that you like the content so let's go ahead and get into it without wasting any more of your time alright guys so we'll start with the box this is a newer box that I just got it's a husky 25 gallon mobile connect cool box um, and so this works with all their other connect boxes you can connect more boxes on top of it it's pretty sturdy heavy duty plastic I haven't had any issues with it I've had it probably about six months now so pretty good box it has the aluminum latches and it has two big tires down here Oh yeah, has cord access so you can actually lock it. Has these little things here and you can put your extension cord inside and charge all your stuff. And it also has a water seal so if you have this in the back of your truck, it should, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but it should. It says um, keep your tools from getting wet. That's the box. I usually carry this outside of the box. It might fit in there, but this is the Purdy power lock. This is the two to four foot. Um, this is normally what we carry. It's enough to get you all the way up to eight, 10, almost 12 foot ceilings. And it's not too heavy and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So this is the one that I'm using right now. I'll use pretty much anything around this side. I don't like the big ones, those. We have some here in the, in the shop, in the garage, but we just keep them for uh, when we actually really have like really high things, we'll come and grab them. All right, so in the box, got to start off, of course, the tunes. Sitting in my office with a plate of grilled bacon. Call a man back just to see what was shaking. Yo, Mike, our town is dope and pretty. So check out how we live in the electric city. They call it Scranton. What? Got the Rayobi work radio here. This is the one that we take to work, battery powered and it's bluetooth you can connect your bluetooth to it you can listen to the regular radio and you can also connect an aux cord if you have an aux cord so gotta have a little radio of course we've got extra supplies what's wrong poo got extra supplies we always carry some tape always carry some rags to clean up messes to uh, any drips anything like that uh, we usually carry a thing of deglosser in case we come across doors that have gloss on them we can degloss them uh, sometimes there's trim that has gloss on it that we degloss and of course we always have extra little sanding sponges again extra supplies that we just carry right now I've got a bunch of these here I usually carry two or three is the minimum um, I've got five here right now but these are the handy cup pails. These are the my favorite. They just carry these around there. They have a little magnet here that holds your that holds your uh, paintbrush. Your paintbrushes all have the metal here, and that holds it up. It doesn't go all the way down into the paint. So I uh, carry a small tray. This is a pretty uh, paint tray. This will fit for any, anything from a four inch all the way up to a nine inch uh, roller. Usually we'll use this for uh, doors or when we do a small cabinet by hand. It doesn't justify bringing out a whole sprayer for a cabinet. Uh, we'll just use this for small stuff at a little accent wall, something like that where you don't want to pull out everything. Carry one of these. We can also, sometimes we'll carry just the little, the little tray, what's it called? The little metal frame that goes inside the five gallon bucket. Those are great too for when you're doing small things like that. Carry that. Got some knee pads here. This is a must if you're going to be cutting and trim by hand. Um, you're going to be taping. If you're going to be cutting anything, you got to have some good knee pads. Don't mess up your knees. 
All right, we got our caulking gun, of course. This is the ETS 2000. This is my favorite caulking gun to use. This one's a little bit older, but still in great condition. Um, it says dripless. It, for the most part, it is. I've had, I mean, I've had some issues, but it depends on also what you're what you're putting into it. So, like regular caulk usually doesn't drip, but once you get into different uh, silicones and stuff like that, sometimes they will. Just when it's real easy, you just pull it back to let go of the pressure. Extra caulking. You can always carry a tube or two. Extra plastic to cover things up, of course. Always carry a drill to remove any screws, things like that. All right, and then this top part here, it's just where I keep my brushes, and I have a bunch of different ones. We've got the Purdy Clear Cuts. What's up, girl? She's right here. And the Avanti brush that we've been trying out for the last couple of months. Got, I actually got two of them. This is the bigger one, and this is a two and a half, and this is the three inch. So just the uh, multiple different paint brushes. China X here, this one's a little bit older, a little bit stiffer. And we always carry them flat in something so that we don't mess up the fibers and the hairs. We've got our brush and roll cleaner, a little spinner to keep the roller cover and your brushes clean. These are more beat up brushes. We usually keep them for throwaway stuff for once they're beat up, just kind of like to pick up messes or sometimes to brush off the trim and stuff like that uh, it's really dirty we'll keep them around for that all right and then extra stuff the tiny hammer i have a regular hammer here somewhere i just use it but this is a baby hammer a, keep a hammer this is a brush and roll cleaner so we'll keep that we've got our husky painter's tool our other painter tool all right so we got our painter tools um, putty knives, scrapers, another painter tool, so just multiple painter tools, and then screwdrivers. We always keep a couple flatheads, again, for nails, um, for screws, to take off hinges, anything like that. And then we also keep one of these little blades in case we get paint on windows, one of those doors with a lot of panes on it careful one of those doors with a lot of panes on it can scrape it off a little bit uh, a little thing of wood filler all right and then at the very bottom we store our paint tray this is the purdy paint tray this is the smallest one that i've seen it's low profile so we can fit it in the box we have some thicker ones that i kind of like a little better but this one fits in the box and then again, some more cleaning stuff or in case you get things dirty. Extra roller covers for the six inch ventilator mask. Just always carry one of those. All right, and then now we get into our roller frames. All right, so this one, you could technically just have one of these. This is the Purdy uh, roller frame. I'll put the link down below for all of these. But this one will go from nine inches all the way up to 18 inches and hold an 18 inch roller cover so that, that's a good one to have um, I like it I, right now I'm using this other one because I have a 14 inch roller cover and this one's a little bit lighter than this one once you get the roller on there and everything and it also doesn't have anything on one side so you can get in the corners all the way with just the roller so this is a 14 inch roller cover and a 14 inch frame for it. This is the Colossus. Most of the apartments that we do, they all have texture on the walls or on the ceilings. And so we use these longer naps to get the paint in the texture. Also carry a nine inch frame just in case anything happens to my frame, I have an extra. We can keep going. And then just small roller one. Again, the Colossus six inch right here. This is an older, this one's probably trash, but this is a, one of the shorter naps for like cabinets or doors. Again, another six inch, and then the tiny four inch for little touch-ups. Okay, I have a crowbar for nails, and again, another extra roller cover in there. 
and that's basically it guys with all this stuff right here I can paint a whole house apartments so we try to keep it again at a minimum because we are mobile and we are going up and down stairs <laughs> usually in and out in a day, day and a half. Um, so we try to keep everything pretty mobile. But that's everything that I have in my box. I'll put a link down below to everything. This is the stuff that I use every day and you know, we use to make money. And most of our guys have a box similar to this or a, a carry out similar to this that they carry with them every day. All right, and then also on top of the painting stuff, since we do small drywall repairs we also carry minimum stuff to do drywall repairs so we have our drywall handsaw another drill just for the drywall stuff with the battery and charger some drill bits and drywall screws fiber tape we also have our mud tray a couple different size knives that I need to clean right now sorry a little sanding sponge and a little can of texture again guys this is the minimal small stuff that we carry to keep our pack out yeah. not too heavy not too not too much stuff and not too Kitty. oh my goodness get that car okay. <laughs> and not too much stuff to have to get in and out yeah and then everything right back here. Specific order so that it fits. Alright guys, there you have it. See? Everything fits in one little box. So yeah, that way, gets the job, pull out the box, bring the box inside, and that's it. Grab our drywall repair stuff if we need it. And then the only other thing that we use is a ladder. So I like this uh, platform style ladder, just because I can cut in a larger portion of ceilings and stuff. And guys just use a regular ladder all right guys thanks for watching the video on my tool pack out my day-to-day -to -day tools that I carry with me if you like the video be sure to hit that like and if you want to see more in the future hit that subscribe and let me know what you guys carry in your truck in your van your tools that you use day to day so sorry I got this fuzzy thing up here for the wind but yeah we'll see you guys next time